that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. So it's day two of the season. Today, the wind is blowing due east. We're heading out to a spot uh, that we wanted to go to yesterday, but the wind wasn't right. Uh, but there's a there's a big mound there that we can see a long way. So uh, Robbie's been there before. Yeah, killed quite a few deer off of that. Yeah. Mound. So we're gonna basically get up on it and glass and then hopefully spot something that I can get down and, and try and cut them off and make a move on them. Um, so that's the plan. Hopefully we spot some game. Don't go anywhere because this episode is actually about to get pretty intense. But we wanted to start something new on our channel. We want to start doing shout outs to some of our community members because without all of you guys that are supporting this channel, we wouldn't be able to do everything that we do. So we want to give a little bit of the love back. So this week's shout out goes to Manuel Escobar. This is a young hunter that really just got started hunting in South Florida just last year. He's been asking us lots of questions about how to hunt in South Florida, watching all of our videos, and really he has been doing exactly what we say to do in all of our tutorial videos, and he has had tremendous success. Last year he shot his first buck, this giant stud, and then this year he stuck to it again following all of our insights, he found a spot, such a good spot actually that it was basically the same spot that I was going to hunt but he ended up sitting there and he shot this really nice eight point so Manny is a perfect example of exactly the kinds of people that we're trying to reach with this channel so we're super excited and super proud that he was able to use some of our insight to uh, have the success that he has had go check him out on Instagram and if you're wondering how you can be the next shout out in our upcoming video all you have to do is screenshot this video and share it on your Instagram story and make sure that you tag Swamp and Stomp. And now back to the video. All right, guys, we're going to try and spot something from the road and see if we can put a stalk on it. Turn around. We got we to gotta get on that road. Like, we're going to have to just keep that island between us and him. 
but there's a good amount of tall stuff out there if we stay low we'll be able to and plus he's he's worried about this doe so like he's not gonna be paying as much attention all right so we just spotted a giant eight point real wide well not real wide but it's a nice buck um he's chasing a doe but if we get on the back side of that island where that pond is where we saw that little buck yeah. we'll get on the back side of that pond and run at this island just go I gotta practice, I gotta get my, the right sound, you know. The right sound of it. Well, All right, no, so, <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to where we saw this magical giant eight pointer that we have no proof of ever seeing. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna sit there and wait for him. And uh, we might hit the black rack a little bit and uh, see if we can't entice him to, uh, Come check us out. And I guess I gotta put on a seatbelt. Yeah, seatbelt. Safety first. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Alright, guys. So we're back out here where we saw that really nice buck earlier today. And uh, we're gonna sit here and just see if he comes back. We can tell that he really like lives here. There's big deer tracks all throughout this little head. There's a little scrape back this way. The wind is currently blowing. Well, it's kind of swirling, but it's supposed to be blowing out this way. We're kind of expecting him to come from this way. Um, just in case something comes from the other side, we hung a little wick with some estrus dobe that um, will hopefully draw a deer into the head behind us instead of coming around catching our scent so we'll see how that goes now we just sit and wait hopefully see something
that's how you do it. So I was I, I just had a feeling that he was gonna try to get the wind like yeah, he did. He was trying, yeah. When I saw him go that way, man. It was like seventy. <laughs> if I had crawled into this tree, you would have shot him. I probably would have got fifty maybe. Yeah. Uh, from that tree. Like he was probably sixty, seventy where he was. Safe to say that rattling freaking works in Florida, dude. Yeah, it's that that oh, was impressive. That was awesome. It took a whole whopping ten seconds. Dude, that was insane. Dude, <laughs> that's the coolest part, man. Like I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I could care less. Dude, that was cool as well. Like I just rubbed the shit out of this branch, man. I was just smacking the shit out of it. said it when I was like, he's going left. We should have gone in here and got around. Because he wouldn't have, I mean, he might have caught our scent that was already here. But like, There's a lot of ground scent right here. Yeah, so it was like, oh, man. really, what we, what we should have done. I'll 
always good to think about what should have been done. It's like, we should have walked down the road when he was way over there and crawled behind this little ridge out to there. Yeah. That's what we should have done, you know. <clears throat> that is... I was just stuck, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I there's nothing know, we can do. I don't know. I was just like, I don't know what to do right now. Yeah. There's three freaking... Three or four shooter. There's four, yeah, there's four, four shooter, shooter bucks. bucks. Any one of them would do. So if we can get in that island and stay put, we're in with a good shot, a good chance. Well, get ready. Don't move. Why are you shaking, son? Because that shit fires me up. <laughs> 